Hi, I'm Joe Tremaine, your dance master teacher. We recently spoke with one of my former students who in just over a year in Hollywood has danced on So You Think You Can Dance, booked his very first audition he went on, the Academy Awards, and is soon to begin a world tour with pop star Rihanna. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tony Bellissimo. You want to challenge yourself and get better, you need to put yourself in the ringer where people are better than you. You will only get better. I love dancing so much, so I wanted to do that. Right time, right place, and uh, out of sight, out of mind, so I guess I was in the right area at the right time. So, Music, music, music. You do not dance to the, the air. I started dancing at two with my mom and her little stage performances that she was putting on. And then I started taking class in a real studio at the age of six and seven, six, six and a half. Yeah, about six and a half, I started taking a hip hop class once a week. And then at the age of 13 or 14, I ran into you. <laughs> and you told me, you're good, but you need to take technical classes, ballet and jazz and tap. And I did. I went back and I took that seriously and I took those classes more and more and now that I actually cut sports out of my life my senior year of high school and I took dance on 100%. I am from Buffalo, New York, freezing cold Buffalo, New York. And my first, I got in LA a year ago, January 15th. And I drove across country by myself in 39 hours in my little car. And my first impression when I got here was, whew, so warm. <laughs> so it was warm, it was great, it was beautiful, and I knew when I was coming in, this is where I was, dreams were gonna come true, and the first dance experience that I acquired or, or took part in was the audition for the Oscars, which was two days after I w arrived. I, w I was lucky enough to join this, not lucky enough, but I actually put myself through the ringer, and I went and auditioned twice for So You Think You Can Dance, season four and season five, and I made it to finally to the top 20, which is the top 10 guys in the country, for season five of So You Think You Can Dance in 2008, 2009, yeah, did 2008, 2009, yeah, 2009 I came out and did it in the summertime, and uh, made my impression, I didn't go as far as I had to, but I made it to, through, the, through all the audition process to make it to the show, and it, the agencies saw me and you know and they were like let's take a let's pick this kid up he's you know let's see what he's got um actually it was an agency and open call there was agent call for, for people who were already in the union and then there were people who were non-union dancers and I, at that time i was a non-union dancer so i had to stand in a line of like four thousand kids all the way around the block it was like a it was like so you think you can dance all over again because it was kids for blocks standing in line with headshots and resumes and boom boxes and dancing and uh, just got the call and went and went I mean they had a they had a contemporary and technical audition where you walked in and you did just walk forward and you were cut just on what how you were dressed and how you looked or they if you met what they need and then there's another audition where you came in and they did they taught you one kind of eight and after that one kind of eight they cut you from that and after that they taught you a combo and they taught, and after the combo they cut you again and cut you again and cut you again until I got done with a small group. In Buffalo, I'm challenged only by the people around me. And your teachers can be, are, I have amazing teachers. I have an amazing, amazing set of teachers. I was very lucky, very lucky and very spoiled to have my teachers. But a student can only grow by the students around them. So if the students around them are not going to push you to get yourself better, you need to get into a bigger tank with bigger fish to make yourself bigger. So being in LA, I was a big shark in, in Buffalo. I came to LA and I was only a minnow. And now I feel like I'm trying to get to a tadpole stage because the dancers out here are so incredible. They hit harder, they jump higher, they run faster, they, they perform better. It's just you, pull, you find this inner strength to pull out of you to make yourself better. Like I have this dancers around me who Ivan and Twitch and all these people from the show, from Something You Can Dance and ABDC who are just absolutely incredible and I get to see them and watch them perform or dance next to them and it only makes me better. Yeah, I talk to my agent at least twice or three times a day just to say hi and see what's going on. And I want to talk about Glee. 
singing auditions, acting auditions, acting classes, dancing auditions, I constantly asking what's going on, what projects, where is Neil, where is Usher, where is Justin Timberlake, what's going on with this, constantly talking to your agent. Communication is key. If you do not communicate with your agent, it does not work. You need to have a communication relationship with your agent for it to work. A lot of kids come out here and go, my agent doesn't like me, they don't like the way I look. No, you just don't need to be in their, their eyes at all the time. You have to put yourself in their vision. If they don't know you're there, there are so many dancers, you have to make yourself known. You have to. Push, push, push yourself. The audition process is as follows. You walk in to a ballroom or a, a sound stage, which can hold up to 200 or 350 amount of people in the room. You're going to have people who throw knives. You're going to have people who blow fire. You're going to have people who do magic tricks, breakers who do flips, trickers who just run off the wall, poppers, you're going to have ballerinas, you're going to have every kind of style of dancer. You just need to know who you are and be confident in who you are and also you have to be able to dance by yourself and freestyle. Listen to that music and freestyle. That's a major, major part of the industry because if you can't freestyle, the choreographer and the director look at you and may, you may be able to do all the choreography, but you're in L.A., so everybody can dance. No one can't dance in L.A. Everyone can do a kind of eight or two kinds of eight. It's what you can do after that kind of eight that's going to separate you from the pack if you're not 100%, 100% committed. Committed meaning you eat it, you sleep it, you wake up. It's the first thing you think about when you wake up, when you tie your shoes. You tie your shoes to the beat of a rhythm. You do not do anything that's not dance. If that's not how you're going to live your life, you're in the wrong industry, you need to go to school and figure out what you want to do. Take dance in school, take business in school, figure out what you want. After that, do your dream, go after it. Thank you for joining us and be sure to visit the Master Talent Teachers website regularly for more new and exciting videos.